Hello dear hiking and backpacking friends, welcome back to day 4 of our backpacking trip in the Pyrenees. As you saw the day started very grey and rainy, that's why I had a camera inside of my backpack. And as we were going down over the Porta del Cel, a pass that borders Spain and France, on the French side we were boulder hopping what felt like forever, it was really, <laughs> it's type too fun and now I look back on it and I say oh that was fun but back then over there hopping from one slippery boulder to the next one, I was just like oh my god I hope this finishes soon and I'm looking forward to have a normal trail underneath my feet and happily that's exactly what happened to after a while we walked down a really pretty valley next to a little stream next to us a big mountain wall with waterfalls running down beautiful autumn colors on the floor with the bilberries and also in the trees the birches were yellow and the larches it was absolutely stunning again towards the end of the trail we hiked through this kind of beautiful green tunnels where the trees were growing over the trail it was very very scenic and felt very very nice and then we arrived at a, quite a big parking lot so there's a possibility to go for day hikes over there in that area and then we were wondering what to do it was still early in the afternoon but the weather was like kind of a mixed bag and we were like doing some research on the map and then we decided we're going to walk 2-3 kilometers until this Gite, that's a French hostel for backpackers and we're gonna have a easy night. The Gite was only 15 euros the night. Martin and me, we shared one room and there were like six beds so we could spread out all our stuff and have it dry. And yeah, it was a really good decision. There were three French gentlemen with whom we were also talking about the possibilities for hiking and backpacking over there in the region. And it was a very nice evening sitting in the kitchen, drinking a beer and just planning the next day and not needing to worry about packing up a wet tent in the next morning. We slept really well that night in the hostel and then in the next morning there was a beautiful sunrise and it looked like it's going to be a really good day but that you will see in the next video. Thanks again for watching. If you are curious how the trip continues click the subscribe button underneath this video and also hit that bell next to it so you can follow along and don't miss a video. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up because it really makes a difference. Thanks for watching and remember, it's always worth to go outside. Bye.